Today, many factoring companies are facing a tremendous amount of market pressures that have been evolving over time. First, they need to get to market quicker. Product development life cycles, the product development phases uh, are all much shorter than they were before. And product innovation is critical but cannot be profitable if we can't get to the market uh, first and before the competition. And customers have been asking for the products much more quicker than before. They need to manage products that are much more variable and complex. There's no more one size fits all or much less, I should say, a one, one size fits all type of products. Products have much more variability to them and different options and derivatives available to the customers. They need to manage in a much more globalized supply chain with risk sharing partners and um, suppliers uh, co-located physically everywhere around the globe. And you know, this is not new, but we're talking about risk sharing partners that require a much more highly collaborative environment in order to be able to share their data and share their product knowledge. They need to improve operational efficiency and excellence in order to be much more flexible and responsive to customer changes, uh, customers change to the requirements, to the market changes, and things like that. All this in addition to meeting cost targets, uh, you know, budgets have been shrinking, uh, attaining first time quality, uh, achieving quality, but all this at a reasonable cost. But many challenges or what I call pain points uh, are hindering the manufacturing company's ability to meet those market pressures. Uh, first of all, manufacturing, engineering, and production are still working in silos, disconnected teams. So it's really hard to streamline your manufacturing processes across these different silos. It's difficult to reuse proven manufacturing processes and resources. Now companies have been standardizing, but it's been hard for them to share that standard, to share that knowledge, and enforce it to system systematically drive manufacturability. They're still struggling to provide accurate manufacturing information to the shop floor on time. You know, and accurate because often they still work very sequentially. So by the time that information gets to the shop floor, well, uh, you know, manufacturing or engineering, I should say, already released a new design and have thrown it over the wall to manufacturing. So they're struggling to introduce that change into the product. There's a numerous amount of paper-based processes, uh, very manual processes, and use of office-like products like Word and Excel to document critical enterprise data like your manufacturing processes. And when we do that, we can't really share, we can't really configure or manage that data, and it's also very hard to trace back what was really used as the manufacturing processes for a product. And there's you know, a numerous amount of disconnected legacy systems that these manufacturing companies need to work with. So all this resulting in efficiencies, higher costs, delays, and really very difficult for them to meet those market pressures. PTC understands these pain points and challenges, and we help manufacturing companies address these pain points and challenges in order to meet those market pressures and hence drive value. These challenges can be addressed by building manufacturing initiatives, some of them supported not supported by technology, such as, such as embracing a manufacturing philosophy at your company, and some of them leveraged or enabled by PTC's PLM-enabled manufacturing best practices and capabilities, all this supported by a very broad set of manufacturing solutions. In conclusion, PTC's mission is really to help streamline and optimize your product development processes. And when we say product, we include the manufacturing processes and the tooling required for you to produce your product. For more information on our manufacturing solutions, I suggest you visit ptc.com.